welcome back everyone for the next part of Persona 5 Royal. So uh, we got kicked out by Maruki. And we need to wait 7 days in order to go back I guess. Great, right? Great. And in the meantime, Samiri is in his hand and we can't do anything about it. Welcome home. You sure we're out late? Mm. It's me. I've discovered something that I thought I should tell you right away. I called you to Sawa-san's house to see what I had learned. They believe she's been at the training camp since yesterday. The thing Mariki really is changing our physical reality as he sees his fit. It's scary. No kidding. This is the first time I've witnessed a power that even could come close to this magnitude. Even the great Phantom Feast, you are so proud of, fell in line with the scheme. Right. You're going to see if you can change their minds, aren't you? Yeah, maybe I can free them. Well, fine. I suppose we can use the manpower. Yeah. If you can actually bring them to their senses, that is. That's, that's wholly depending on whether or not they're capable of leaving the reality they're supposedly wished for. Oh, I don't know if that's possible. I will focus on investigating my rookie further. You do what you need to do. Thanks. Remember what we agreed upon before? We made a deal here. Right. Well, I reach out to you should anything come up. Good night. So, Morgana, we need to talk about you. Was it a catchy? You team to seems to be getting along very well lately. Hey, so I was thinking, why don't us fantasies all go to a hot spring together some time ago? Then Lady Anne and I can Um Morgana <laughs> How does that sound? Perfect, right? We should ask the rest of the gang soon. Rather than explaining it with words. I would like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. I don't like that. It seems like seems this reality is the one that Morgana wished for. Alright, we should hit the hay for today. Ah, uh, the Met Bay a tad too cozy for the both of us. Oh well, I shall start sleeping off the sofa instead. Um, are you happy? Huh? Where did this come from? I'm just asking. Well, yeah, I'd say I'm happy. How about we sleep together? For old time's sake. <laughs> yeah, I can still remember how much I hated it when I curled up on top of you. Wait. Curled up on top of? Wait, does it, does it trigger memory? That doesn't seem right. I got captured in Kamoshida's palace. And that is when I met you guys. When we go to Memento, I transform into... Keep thinking! Huh? Uh, okay. Come on. I got to be useful for humans that I admire so much. Nothing could make me happy. Is he remembering? What was... Sorry, I'm... I'm gonna go out and do some thinking for this. You should get some sleep. Come on, Morgana. Wake up! It seems all I can do now is wait. Uh, my rookie says that your friends are already enjoying it, so I guess I need to spend with every day with another one, huh? Is that how we're going to spend the next seven days? I should go see them. Yeah. Can I start with power? Please? Where is everyone? I should look for them while I check out the town. Did everything change? Like every everything? Like those mm -hmm. old couples? There's nothing interesting on TV during the new year. It's just a bunch of idols and comedians fooling around. Speaking of TV, I wonder what happened to those Phantom Thieves. That's all people were talking about last year, but then they just suddenly stopped. People in this world forget everything so quickly, even more quickly than the elders. 
guess I don't really see that from those guys. Hey, did you want to listen in? We've got lots of listeners sharing the, the New Year resolution today. Let's read one right now. I'm going to get uh, to go an entire day without my smartphone. I'm afraid that's much easier said than done. How swallow? Back in my days, we didn't have smartphones. The world's better off without them. Well, maybe I'm not supposed to talk with them. But then again, hmm? there's a dog here. Isn't it wonderful that Ka Kataro is feeling better? Yeah, now we can go for a walk again. Woof woof! I wasn't sure what was going to happen last year, but now he's a completely different dog. Oh, he healed the dog. It's like we're in a dream. He healed the dog. I should really try to find them. Let's see if I can find them. Why are they all smiling like that? That's so creepy. Super creepy. Like seriously. I mean, it's glad that they are happy and all, but that's just super creepy. Also, I'm just going to follow that little marker right over there. I mean, it's going to point me towards the direction of my teammates, hopefully. It's kind of funny how every time I change my screen, I see that little icon on the round of the screen turning greenish. Is it Anne? It's She-Ho! Oh my god, you did it, She-Ho! I knew you could! It's all thanks to your support. <laughs> You're supporting me. And I really appreciate it. Aw, I'm not the one who deserves the credit. You kept your kept up your best efforts and now you're finally being recognized. Hmm? Ray, I can't believe it! Over here! Talk about a coincidence. It's been a while since last time you saw Shiro, right? Yeah. Um. Long time no see, Navakun. Do you remember me? Um, how have you been? Yeah. I've been well. Thank you for asking. I'm surprised you remember, though. We didn't even get to talk all, <laughs> all that much since I transferred to another school so early into. Wait, so she still transferred? <laughs> of course he remembers you. He has to remember. What's with the bragging? I've told him all about how amazing my BFF is at volleyball. Oh, Anne. Sorry, you have to put up with all of that. It's okay. Um. It's okay. Chiyo was the MVP at the big meeting the other day too. Not only was she in the starting lineup, but she scored more points than anybody else. No wonder she's the star of the team. I'm just so proud of you, Shiho. Wait, doesn't that bite from other people's happiness? What if the other party team members want to be the VIP? Jeez. Are they going to share the spot? Aww, you're too much. The two of them are beaming with joy. Seems this reality is the one that Anne wishes for. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, she was coming back to our school. Everyone in volleyball knows that she Chushin is the top school when it comes to sport. That is how I was able to convince my parents to let me transfer back, after more than a little begging. I was so sad when she transferred for her parents' job, but all's well that ends well. I feel like everything is just perfect. Is it so? Is this everything you wished for? Hmm? What I wished for? Well, I guess you could say so. Any doubts about it? What do you mean by any doubts? Well, I know I don't. I spent so much time worrying about over everything that that now I've wait. What? But, but something is. I remember being so cornered that I just wanted to die. But then I met everyone and... Keep thinking. Um. What does that... She was still alive, even after all the things that made her want to die. You have no right to run away from this. Huh? I, I just... Anne? What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. I think I'm just feeling a bit tired. Why don't we go find some place to sit and relax for a bit? Uh, sorry! Sorry, Ray. I, I call you later. Bye. See you, Narakun. 
So I guess I'm able to wake up their old memories. I just need to talk to them and question them. It seems all I can do now is wait. I guess I should head home. Wait a second. Wait. Makoto? Why are you here? You aren't really my question exclamation mark target. Ah! Ah, Ray, what a coincidence. Okay. <laughs> hey, Makoto. Uh, we were just doing a bit of shopping, <laughs> but soon we're going to celebrate our dad receiving the... Your dad is back as well? The Super Intention General Award. It's unbelievable. Come on, Makoto. You don't need to raise your voice over it. Remember, dad telling you earlier to just act like it's not a big deal. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. I'm just so thrilled for him. It's like he's finally getting the recognition that he deserved. You're correct. Well, I do feel the same way. So, what grocery do we need to pick up before we head home? Mm, I wonder what Dad would like me to cook. I may I had eggplant miso soup for your birthday. Mm, you had fried macaroni on yours, right? I can still remember how you tested Dad about it until he cooked it for you. Hey, <laughs> sis. I didn't pester him. He asked me what I wanted to eat for my birthday. <laughs> the two of them are beaming with joy. It seems the reality is the one that Makoto wishes for. That reminds me. Uh, Ray, what brings you here? Sorry to keep you like this, by the way. Well, I came to see you. Me? Is something the matter? You seem very happy. Do you think? Yes, you think so. Has your dad been supportive? My dad? Of course. He's done such a great job in a single, as a single parent and... No, but... Wait. Something is wrong. Why did only her dad resurrect it? Why didn't he also recreate her mother? Mom died, so dad raised us alone. And sis... You're close, come on. Wait, <laughs> what are you saying? But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. <sighs> it's just... Makoto? What is wrong? Oh no, no, I'm sorry. It's nothing. Sorry, Ray. We have more shopping to do. I'll see you later. Oh, Makoto. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We'll chat again soon. Seems like all I can do now is wait. Oh, I can only pick one of them at a time. Oh, that's bad. I need to get Haru next. 100%. Hey there, Ryuji. I see you're talking with your tracking team. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean you got scouted by college? Whoa. Pipe down, stupid. It's not for sure or nothing yet anyways. I'm just saying the school's got a word of something like that. Still that rules. He even made it onto the podium auditions to do <laughs> too. I was worried about what would happen after you screwed up your knee, but I'm glad you were able to bounce back. No way, man. Oh, you're still jumping the gun with it. I'm just trying my best so I don't get love of uh, of the team by you guys. Mitsushi Ryuji is laughing happily with the other members of the team. It seems this reality is the one that Ryuji wishes for. Are you sure about mm -hmm. that? Ray? What are you doing here? It's still winter break. Oh, maybe you stopped by to congratulate you too. Hey, man, someone sure is popular. Is there any way we want to go eat after practice? It's our treat today. Oh, that's nice of you guys. How about an extra large, large beef bowl and some pork miso soup? Hey, why don't you come with us, Ray? Um, are you happy that you can run now? Uh, yeah. yeah, of course, but what's up to all, this, all of a sudden? So your legs are fine now, huh? Hey! My leg? Oh, you're worried about me. It's totally fine, dude. No problem there, since that injury is a while back. And it was actually Kamoshida's fault, so... Wait, what? Is something wrong here? Who do we know each other? Anyhow. First we met in front of the station by school, then... 
thinking man. Remember the palace. Huh? Uh, sure. It's now or never. Here goes. Whoa! What the hell was that? Are you okay, Sakamoto? Yeah, what happened to you guys? Um, nothing. See ya. Sorry, I gotta get back. Ryuchi, come on, you need to remember. <sighs> oh well. I wonder if I can find Haru next time, because today it seems like it was just for Taba or Ryuji. Um, 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 my map. What is going on with my map? What is this? Sh roots? Are those roots? Uh, okay, let me see. Who's that? Yusuke? Haru, of course. First we go to Haru. My map is freaking out. My map is freaking out here. Where is she? Over there. Okay. Let's rush ahead. I really need to save her before something creepy happens. That blue stuff was... That's just not... It's just not normal. And I cannot access my map on my own. Hey, Haru. The father's alive. The amount of pestering traffic here is well within our threshold. This would make a fine location for a new store. Mm hmm Yes. I agree. The research said this community is most interesting in high quality ingredients and in modern store design. Uh, store design. Perhaps this location should focus more on organic products and a simple but elegant interior. Ah, good choice. My. Oh, Raycoon, I didn't expect you to run into you here. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm helping out my father today. We're here to inspect a potential site for a new company store. Is this a friend of yours? Yeah, boyfriend. Yes. He's been a wonderful friend to me. He's an upper classman at my school. Boyfriend! Haru, come on! <laughs> to think you you have a male friend, Haru. Or are you truly... No. Wait! Jeez, father! Don't jump to conclusion like that. <laughs> Calm down, Haru. I was merely teasing. But still, with such a man to appear in your life, make sure you tell me right away. Understood? <laughs> oh, father. Is that jealousy I'm detecting? How are her father enjoying each other? His company. It seems this reality is the one that Hara wishes for. <coughs> um, it's been quite some time since I last saw Haru like this. He must truly be a wonderful friend to her. Please keep a good uh, please keep being good as good to her as you've been. After all, my daughter's happiness is my own happiness. Why couldn't you be like that from the start? Father. Oh, would you care to do something together, Raycoon? We have a bit of free time so we could grab a coffee or something. He's a great father, isn't he? Thank you. Yeah, he is. Thank you. Although he can be a bit overprotective at times. But he but he's honest and caring. He really is my ideal father. Has your has your dream come true, Harrow? My dream? Oh no, I wouldn't call my life anything so drastic. After all, I've been so busy lately that I can barely handle what's on my plate, so... Um. Wait, I just... I'll be waiting for you. Hmm. Oh, okay. Come on, Haru. What happened? Uh, wait. What happiness can be founded through profit gained by crushing the hearts of others? Excuse what? me? What? That just now, that was. Haru, what's the matter? Uh, um, nothing, father. Nothing really. Hmm. You must be getting exhausted after all the surveying. Why don't we take a break somewhere? My apologies for cutting this short. I do hope we have a chance to speak more in the future. Until next time, of course. Oh, my poor Haru. I'm sure you can manage this. And I guess I need to wait one more. I'm sure of it. Something is wrong with my map. Definitely wrong with my map. Are they getting more? Or is it just my feeling? Hmm. 
Wait, can I visit that? No, I cannot visit that. Okay. So, uh, Yusuke or Futaba was it, right? Futaba. Okay, then Futaba's next. Hey Futaba. Oh man. Wow, cool hat, Sochiro. <laughs> Whoa there, Futabo. I thought you just came here to buy a video game. <laughs> but can't you feel it? All the limited edition and gaming gears. It's the store's fault for being a one-stop shopping emperor for gamers. I know, right? So uh mom? Hmm? No ma'am. Do you think I get supplemented grants with nothing but puppy dog eyes? Motion for additional funding denied. <laughs> Aww, my case was dismissed. Ray? Hey there. Mm. Oh hey, look who stumbled into us. Come on, hurry up and pick something already. You still want to get lunch after this, right? We can take him too. Sure. Oh, what a thoughtful gentleman. Hear that, Futaba? So she was gonna treat us all for lunch. Hey, don't go putting words in my... Really? Really? Then back to LeBlanc. People, it's curry time. Of course. You eat that all the time, though. That's cause it's the best. You really can't get enough of that curry, can you, Futaba? I mean, she does have a point. <laughs> um, thanks for the glowing review. The three of them are all smiling at each other. It seems like a happy family. Sounds good, Ray. I know you know how awesome Sorceress Curry is. <sighs> it goes well with coffee. Yeah, Sorceress made it for exactly that reason. And mom helped them to improve the flavor. Mm. Wait, something's not... Isn't it like a beautiful dream? What's that supposed to mean? What are you getting at? Is it a dream? No, but... I've, I'm sure you can figure this out. You're a genius, right? Uh, don't, didn't you also mention that you have some kind of super memory? That you never forget anything? What happened with that? I still don't get it. Come on, why won't you just tell me? Won't let those distorted lies deceive me anymore. <sighs> what was that? Are you alright? You two are getting a bit weird. Could this be the case of raging hormones? Look how serious they both gotten. Maybe. Okay. Um, it's nothing. Let's go, Mom. The curry can't wait. Ray, still got stuff to do, I assume. Well, see you later. There she goes. Hey, Futaba, don't just take off like that. Um, well, we're gonna head home first. Come by, uh, come by for some crumbs when you're done with whatever you're doing. Well, this is going to take a while. I still need to visit Yusuke. It seems all I can do now is wait. Yet again. Hey, you have a minute? Ray, I think something is wrong with me. Maybe not. I don't know. Sorry. Didn't mean to hold you up, don't mind me. That's the spirit, Morgana. Slowly but surely, you will able you will be able to get out of the stream. Is it me or is it getting bigger? Was the wave before? Did they get more again? Hopefully not. But it seems like now it's pulsating. Weird. Anyways, Yusuke! Yusuke, I need to save you! Next! I can't see Yusuke in the distance. He seems to be viewing a painting. What should I do? Speak to him, of course. <gasps> Sayuri! What a coincidence. Ah, you came, Ray. I was just thinking about contacting you. Take a look. My mother's painting is finally receiving the public attention that it deserves. It's on display for a week only, so I'm glad we have the chance to view it together. 
<laughs> I am truly blessed. I've waited so long to see this painting here. My drive to create a masterpiece of this caliber grows stronger every day. But thanks to my sensei's patronage, each day always brings me closer to painting such a impactful work. Why didn't you wish for your mother to be alive again, Yusuke? Why did you settle with the painting? Nothing in the world could make me happier than as I am right now in this moment. You're who? Indeed. Why, my sensei, of course. Madara. Are you serious? Even after mother's passing, sensei never stopped advocating her work to the public. Not only that, he took me in and cared for me when I lost my only family. I truly cannot thank him enough. There's something wrong with that statement. It seems this is the reality, the one that Yusuke wishes for. Ah, I just had a wonderful idea. Why don't you come join us for dinner? Sense has been very interested in meeting you. Don't worry, he'll even pay for the meal. Is he a good sensei now? I'm just yes. asking. Yes, I'd say so, but what's this about? So out of the blue. Well, this is a Yuri. Well, the Yuri looks great there, I guess. Don't you think the Blanc was a little bit better? I mean, that was the perfect spot. I saw it for over. Well, it wasn't really a whole year, but a long time over there. This is Yuri. That's not the painting's name. No, wait. That seems. Wait, it's not called the Yuri? Something is not right. Well, I'll be waiting. Have fun, Yusuke. Hi. What is. Could I be making some mistake as I did before? To think that this painting was the source of Madame's distorted desires, the only saving grace is that my mother won't know of what, ha what has transpired. <coughs> Ray, I. Hmm? My apologies. Actually, I'm sorry, but I like to be alone for now. Well, tomorrow is the night. Let's see what Akechi has to say to us. Come on, Akechi. Give me the clues it's I need. Me. Oh, wait. I've uncovered a few things in my investigation this week. Perfect. So I thought I'd share my findings with you. Well then, what did you find? First, regarding Maruki himself. He's been researching the treatment of patients through changes in their cognitions since his college years. You already knew about that, correct? Yeah, he told me about it, pretty much. Maruki's work apparently had enough investors that he was planning to break ground on a research facility somewhere. And as you know, those plans never came to fruition. His funding was cut off and his research was ended for him. So, did something happen? It's probable. However, we can't be certain of the reason why. At least with our current understanding. What was the purpose of his research into cognitive science? Doesn't it feel like there's more to the story? For example, maybe his research was stymied by someone else for their own reasons. Anyway, that's all I could dig up about Marugi's history. The only thing that's become clearer is his stance on using cognitive science. He's dead serious about saving people. He distorted reality itself to make his dream come true. I can only imagine how delighted he is right now. Ah, that reminds me. There was one more thing I wanted to tell you. About the reality Maruki has put us in. It seems that Akumura and Wakaba are both considered alive by all accounts. Hmm. They're not dead anymore, huh? They aren't mere illusions, or cognitive beings. They truly are alive and existing in this world. In fact, their deaths seem to have never taken place at all in this reality. But that's good for them. And what happened to the Phantom Thieves? They seem to have been causing a stir in society, just like in our original reality. But Shido alone was arrested on the crime of attempting to overthrow the government. Basically. 
In this reality, you and I haven't committed any crimes. I don't understand how Maruki was able to distort reality to such extremes. But at the very least, he was being honest when he told us that he'd make such revisions. And rather convenient ones. So basically, he removed all our blades. I never was a criminal. Nobody talked back to me. I guess you also had no problem in your life. So what do you make of this? Remaining in this Maruki revised reality means living under his thumb forever. Yeah. And I refuse to live like that. I'll be the one to choose my path. That's how I've lived up to now. And it's going to continue from here till the end. But what about you? You saw them for yourself, didn't you? Your friends seem to have taken a liking to Maruki's version of reality. Don't tell me you've changed your mind after seeing them. Uh, I don't know yet. Give me some time. Silence, huh? Give me some time. I need to think about this. As as possible. I don't want any unexpected complications popping up. That takes care of the info I wanted to share. See you soon. Okay. See you in old Diva. Are you going somewhere tomorrow? Yeah. What I bought with Akechi. With Akechi? You guys are really hitting it off lately. Of course, that's not a bad thing. Hey, so about what you said before, you know, that stuff about my happiness? Yeah. Sorry, it's nothing. Good night. <sighs> they still didn't figure it out yet, huh? Tomorrow's the meeting with Maruki. I should go to bed. Right. What should I do? So, you came. Of course I came. Based on the look in your eyes, I'm guessing your friends aren't going to be of any use to us. Hey, that's not for sure yet. I just need to wait. See, I'm sure they will come around. Oh, yes. Because I'm sure you're all just as close as you were before reality was changed. Well, we just don't well, remember how we there's no point in griping about it out here. Are you ready? As I mentioned yesterday, it's quite likely that we'll have to confront Maruki physically. If you're not prepared for such a contingency, then please go and take care of your affairs as quickly as possible. So does this mean I'm supposed to buy items and gear? Is that what you're trying to say here? Where should I go? Clinic? F yeah, I guess that's supposed to mean I, just I can buy items if I want to. But actually, I don't need anything. So I guess I'm fine. Let's talk, Akechi. How about this? Are you ready? Good to go. No. Let us well, shall we get going then? Excuse me, is uh Guys! Whoa! Uh hey guys. It looks like we've all had the same idea. Are you here to speak with him as well? They uh, all want to talk kinda. to me? And I'm so about to enter a palace. Here? He left around noon. Said he was meeting up with a catchy. Sojiro said if we need to talk about stuff, we can use this place for a while. Cool. You know, he asked me the other day, something along the lines of whether or not I'm okay with how things are. At first I didn't know what he was talking about, but as he kept going, his words started making my chest feel all tight. I know what you mean. And ever since then, it's like, like something isn't right in my heart anymore. I have no complaints about my current life. On the contrary, in fact. I am truly happy with it. So in that case, what is this inkling of a feeling I have deep in my soul? <sighs> Ugh, damn it. I'm so bad at figuring out this sort of stuff. Hey. Do you think maybe we're all running away from something super important? I've been kind of wondering for a while now. Maybe the reason his words hurt so much is because he's right. 
But I was too scared to admit that for some reason. That's why I pretended I didn't understand what he meant. When I was speaking with him, I felt like I caught a glimpse of this mysterious sight. Something that shouldn't have happened. But still, I felt like I shouldn't turn away from it. Same here. And myself as well. It seems that we really have lost sight of something precious to us after all. That might be. But... But I'm so scared to remember what it is. If I remember that, I feel like my life as I know it is gonna end. Oh, Futaba. But even still, I don't want to feel this way anymore either. Me too. Guess that's it, huh? He was trying to tell us all something important, and I bet he's probably still working on it somewhere. Ain't no way I'm gonna bail on him just so I can keep running from whatever it is. When I had that strange experience you all mentioned, I saw him and the rest of us there together. I want to believe the connection we share here is a genuine one. Well, I know if we don't do something soon, we're gonna lose our connection with him. Don't ask how I know. It just feels like the truth to me. I admit I am happy right now, but I just can't accept the situation as it is. I'm done with trying to escape my problems. Huh? Oh! Did it work? But got us a cat again! Ah, <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> oh. Well, we are back in here again, huh? Well, I get you. Are you ready for this? Solo mission between wow. us two? Wait, 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 wait. Let's figure out where my rookie is first. I don't want to waste any time wandering around aimlessly. Right. We've encountered an information guide after going up the elevator. Is he intending to welcome us in so graciously? Perhaps we will come across another guide soon. Maybe. <laughs> ah, and before I forget. I suspect the battle are going to get even tougher from here on out, due to our lack of map. Hey, don't worry, I'm the healer, you're the tank. That's how we play it, okay? If I must. Focusing on your own ability is fine and all, but depending on the situation, it'd be more effective to team up. The combination move we pulled off before, it wasn't half bad. I know, right. right? Showdown! <laughs> of course, that is all dependent on whether or not you can keep up with me. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? I defeated you like two times already. I even beat your father, okay? I beat your father with the same trick that I used against you. No point to run away, Akechi. <laughs> so, okay, uh, let me see. I need Mara at all times. I'll just add then this. Then I'm going to save one more time. Uh, right now I'm at 48 minutes, but I'm going to cut a few parts away, like walking to the to my teammates. So I'm not really sure how long the part actually is, but I have a feeling it would be better if I just start a fresh part, so that I have all the time that I need to explore this place. Now then, wait, one day until my rookies acts. What is he planning to do? Huh. Anyways, um, I hope you guys had fun with this uh, little shifter of reality tour. And in the next part, we're going to meet up with Maroki and save Sumiri. And next time. Bye! <laughs>